If you're recording a voice on a camera microphone, then you're probably experiencing something like this. I'm testing the bad audio from my second camera and we will try to fix it SAP without almost any other things used than AI's amazing tools to make this voice sound great. Even Guys, hello! We'll today try to create uh, something special and that's a uh, bad camera audio. We will transform to sound it similar to this one or maybe even better. Let's stay with me because we will use actually very one tool which is free, which is powered by AI and you need almost nothing than your recording from your camera. And that's amazing. Molto bene, would say my Italian friends. Alright, so uh, here we are inside of the CapCut. We won't use CapCut, this is, ju this is just to show you how this, uh, how my audio sounds from my Nikon, 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 whatever you want to call it, D5300, 5300, check it out. We will try to use AI's amazing tools to make this voice sound great. All right, so I exported the audio already from this uh, video. How did I did it? You can go just to export right here and then you can head to export audio and you can choose MP3 or WAV. Don't ignore this, these two ones. I'm always going with WAV file, click export and that's all. You will also export the audio as a separate track and it's going to be great. Now, when we have the exported audio, we will go to the Adobe Speech. So it's called Adobe Podcast, this right here, and enhanced speech from Adobe. It says to uh, insert the files right here and I have it. I have it right here. Now it says uploading. So we are now uploading the voice only track from my camera, from my recording, which you, which you just saw directly to the Adobe speech. Uh, the Adobe's AI um, enhanced speech technology is now analyzing the voice, finding the right frequencies, finding the tempo and based on those frequencies and analysis, Adobe Speech will enhance our voice. It will create a better voice, it will create cleaner voice, it will reduce the noise inside of the audio track and basically overall is going to sound amazing because that's what it needs to be done. And it's already done. How do I know that? Because as you can see here, it doesn't say uploading or enhancing or whatever. So let's now dive back into the Adobe speech. As you can see here, here we have this uh, button enhanced speech with when it's turned off, of course, enhancing speech is not working anything. And if it's on, you have this 90% strange button icon here. The more strange you gave it, the processor inside of the Adobe speech will work harder. So maybe you can lose some of the audio the more you go. So try to be around 80, 75, 80, 85, something like that. We will go with the 80, 83, something like that, and we will see how it goes. I will click play to hear what it sounds right now. Okay. Can you see me? No, you can't see me. Oh yes, you can see me right now. So the image is actually very... So as you can see, the audio is already sounding very, very good. Uh, let me show you what was the original take sounded like. Can you see me? No, you can't see me. Oh yes, you can see me. The, the enhanced file is... No, you can't see me. Oh yes, you can see me right now. If you ask me, that's way, way better. And by hitting download, the file is going to be downloaded to your PC, to my PC, wherever you prefer. And just to show you the difference, I will now open it inside of the empty uh, session here in the uh, Adobe Audition. And you can already notice the difference. Let's, let's ignore the fact that here is two tracks and here is one. So, do you see those lines right here? These are gone here. 
Do you see those some cracks or something? These are gone here. Let's take a listen right here to the original track. I'm testing the bad audio from my second camera. All right, and now I will sh show you the enhanced one. I'm testing the bad audio from my second camera and we will try to fix it SAP without almost any this is bad audio things used than Adobe Audition. And now again, the enhanced audio things used than Adobe Audition. So I think that's genius because it's free, it's powered by AI, it takes no longer than a 30 seconds or something like that and you can use it how much you want, wherever you want, on your phone, on tablet, on PC or anywhere. So that's amazing. And then if you want to uh, place it inside of your video, then you can just, it's saved right here for me. I will place it over here, uh, reduce the volume, volume to zero, or you can also go to uh, extract audio and then delete it, whatever you prefer. And now I will play it and it looks and sound just like this. I'm testing the bad audio from my second camera and we will try to fix it SAP. I hope they help you in order to create a better audio for your uh, camera audio, which is usually not that good, actually. Mine as well, so I'm using this wireless me uh, microphone from Rode. Yes, the camera is farther away from me. It can't pick nice uh, sound and because of that, we don't use it usually. If you do, if you don't have any other choice, okay, that's fine. Then you can use Adobe Speech in order to enhance it or to el eliminate reverb, eliminate noise, etc. I hope I help you this time and please let me know in the comments down below which camera are you using and have you ever known uh, actually about this tool right here. Please let me know in the comments down below and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye!